Hey guys, I'm Chris from the Silver Symbol Channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering one of the most common comments I get across all my power station videos, and that's how long can I run my refrigerator during a power outage? Refrigerators are one of the weirdest appliances in your house, at least when it comes to power consumption. When you run something like your washing machine or a dishwasher, you're going to be drawing electricity the entire time those things are running. But a fridge is kind of weird because it cycles off and on, and when it's off, it's not drawing any electricity at all, or at least not very much. So when it comes to refrigerators, and figuring out how long you can run them with a battery, the only real way to determine that is to do a couple of tests and that will give you an average idea of how long you can actually run one of these. But I also get a lot of comments saying the power stations I show you are way too expensive. So for this video, I have selected a much more budget-friendly model. This thing is called the Mango Power E and it's still pretty big. The battery inside is about 3.5 kilowatt hours. Additionally, this unit is capable of outputting 3,000 watts of power, and that is way more than enough for a fridge. Your average refrigerator in the U.S. consumes about 3 to 500 watts of AC power while it is actually running, including the compressor. I'm going to use my refrigerator here. This one's about 19 cubic feet. It's got a freezer in the bottom, and it is somewhat modern, but there's nothing too fancy about this fridge. It's not super electronic. So we're going to simulate a power outage. So to do that is pretty easy. I'm just going to unplug my refrigerator from the wall. Pretty much every fridge in the US is gonna just be plugged in. That makes it ideal for using a power station or even some other power device, something like a gas generator. But the problem with a gas generator is those things have to run all the time. So when the fridge isn't drawing any electricity, you're kind of just burning up fuel and wasting it. Now it is true that gas generators can throttle down, but they're not going to completely shut off and certainly not be as efficient as a battery power station can be. And now the refrigerator of course is on and we can begin the test. Now initially I started with this little timer and I don't know why I thought this was a good idea because this thing is battery powered. So before it even hit 12 hours, this timer already went out. But fortunately I kind of planned for some things to fail and I actually kicked off my stopwatch on my iPhone. So I'm gonna use this to track the runtime. We just use the fridge like normal the whole time. I didn't wanna mess this test up and seal it in and tape the fridge up or just not use it because that isn't gonna be real life. During an outage, you're gonna need access to the thing. The door probably opened and closed about 15, maybe 20 times every single day while we were using it. And the fridge just worked as though it was plugged into a regular AC outlet. Even while you're running your fridge, you could use this to power other devices during an outage as well. You wouldn't know that this fridge wasn't simply plugged into the wall. But the biggest shock is that now we are at over two days later. Here's our final result. 53 hours of runtime, still got 7% left. I would guess that we could get about 54, 55 hours. That is really exceptional off of one charge using the little mango. So that is a pretty neat result for a simple power backup for your fridge. So if you had a storm going, this small power station could actually run your fridge for over two days without ever needing gasoline. And that can make this model a pretty ideal choice for somebody that doesn't want to mess with a gas generator, maybe uses this power station for other things like tools or camping. So if you've ever wondered how long one of these battery power stations can run a full-size refrigerator for, hopefully this video answers the question. Now it's not going to be the same for every power station out there. And if you add in an even a small solar panel or something else to charge it at all, you could get even longer run times. In the US, most refrigerators refrigerators just use 120 volts, which is exactly what I was getting out of that single mango power station. But if you want 240 volts for bigger appliances, you can actually combine more than one of these main units together with a combiner box and that will give you a 240 volt output. You can also add additional batteries as well, but you don't have to buy any of this to get started. You can just start with one unit and then expand it down the road. But if you've got other ideas, things you're doing for your own power backup, be sure to leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.